Sketching complex shapes can be daunting. It can also be made more simple by breaking the process down into a few basic steps. Working within a box enables me to set the proportions of the shape I'm drawing. I'm starting with a two-dimensional side view and a two-dimensional end view and I'm sketching a Pringle potato crisp. I've chosen this shape to demonstrate that even an object with no straight lines and organic in shape is still best sketched inside a box. I'm drawing my box in perspective and I'm copying my side view and end view onto the sides and ends of the box. I'm using construction lines to build my shape and I'm focused upon proportion, not neatness. With my shape mapped out, I'm simply joining up each of the views that I've drawn. In other words, I'm joining the side view to the end view and working around until I'm back to the start. I'm using a heavier line to make my shape stand out from the construction lines. I'll always keep my construction lines on show as they help build layers of information for anyone reading my page. I'm applying some shading to help add detail, but the purpose of this video is to demonstrate that it's almost always beneficial to build our sketches inside boxes, even when they're almost entirely rounded or amorphous. In this example, I'm sketching the Pringle the other way up. You can see how exactly the same process helps me to work my way through the construction of this otherwise confusing shape without any of the headaches I'd experience if I were to try and sketch it entirely freehand. When I'm sketching my box in 3D and in perspective, I'm making sure that I'm happy with the proportions before I go any further. Getting the proportions right is crucial too long or too wide or too tall and my Pringle won't look like a Pringle. I'll put down countless construction lines until I'm happy with the proportions of my box and it's always easier to get the proportions right when we start with 2D sketches. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit subscribe and remember to select the notifications tab to ensure you don't miss the next one. You'll find resources on my website at www.productdesignermaker.com and see what's going on behind the scenes on Instagram at Product Designer Maker. Thanks for watching.